Good evening. Congratulations to everybody that's here tonight. You're all winners. If I can offer one piece of advice, wear sunscreen. I'll be seeing some skin specialists later on in regards to not wearing sunscreen at the weekend. I've been doing a lot of uh, traveling lately and it reminds me that generally speaking, Australians love traveling. Doing Europe, I mean traveling in Europe, <laughs> is a lot more a rite of passage than when you leave school and university. But people can often get lost, especially in a place like Ireland. That's my home country in case anybody didn't pick up the accent. A couple of weeks ago, a couple of young Australian girls got lost in a city called Cork. And they stopped to ask a local man for directions and they asked, could you tell us how to get to Dublin? And the Irishman looked at them and sighed and said, love, if I were going to Dublin, I wouldn't start from here. <laughs> I think that being in your own business is a lot like, it's a lot like exploring the world. You know where you're starting from. You have an idea of where you want to go. But exactly how to get there is another matter. And you may or you may not get helpful advice along the way. And the only thing for certain is that the journey is going to be long and it's going to be hard. And you're not in this alone. From what I've experienced, the road is never ending. But the journey is rewarding. And it also gets easier as time goes by. I remember back when I started the journey in 2002, I had a choice of either starting a business or remaining in contract labor. So I had to make a decision. And the choice was I could look back in 10 years and I can sit in a pub, as Irish people do, and say to people, how could I could have been? How good I could have been? Or look what I have achieved. After much deliberation and consultation with my partner, I chose the path of starting a company. And with that view, only good can come from this. 10 years later, I was still sitting where you are now. And the next thing, I was being called to the stage to accept the award. Well, the best is yet to come. And a lot of people ask me a question. And they say, well, since winning the state and national title, and the business award, how do we get to where we are today? And the first thing I say is this, we haven't arrived at any mythical destination called success yet, and I don't think we ever will. We're always traveling towards it, where success is, and even what it means, and it's always changing. It's always a work in progress. And I tell them this, you need to pack three things with you. Essential supplies, you can call them. The first thing you need to pack is passion. And I think everybody here realizes as a small business that's crucial to what you do. Passion is the driving force that what keeps you going. Without passion, there'll be no drive to achieve great things. The second thing is to pack a gut feeling because a gut feeling is the voice inside you telling you this will work. Without guts, you won't take the risks that are worth taking. The third thing to take with you is good people. Good people around you are your support system. They keep an eye and they keep a track on where you're going. Without good people, there's no helping hands to look after you when times get tough. Now, I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know to be true, but I hope, like me, you find it good to know that you're not alone. And that'd be a great line for the movie Alien, or better still, Star Wars. Tonight, I'm standing in front of you to assure you that you're not alone. The force is with you. The Telstra Business Award accreditation attached to your name and your company's name, either as a nominee, a finalist, or a winner, is a powerful force to have on your side. For this, I would like to thank Telstra for really helping small businesses on their journey towards success. And I'd like to thank you, and good luck to all the finalists tonight. Thank you.